Hi everybody! Okay, so today we will uh, check out a really cool uh, 12 bar uh, drum solo by the great Bill Stewart, one, one of my favorite jazz drummers. And this one is from a song called Soul Cowboy from guitarist Pat Metheny's uh, trio record, uh, Trio 9900. Uh, check that out, and if you haven't checked out Bill Stewart, check out everything he has ever done. It's uh, really good. Really good. Uh, okay, so this solo, which you can find a transcription of in my blog, uh, contains some really cool metric modulation. And metric modulation, uh, I also describe in my blog what that is. Um, it's basically you take one time signature and place it, you play it over another time signature, over a bass time signature, as I like to call it. Um, and the thing that happens is that the phrases will go over the bar lines and it can be confusing, but th there are some, some really good ways to practice uh, this, which I will show a couple of here. Um, okay, uh, we'll start by, by checking out um, the phrase Bill Stewart do in this solo. It's a phrase in 5-8. Um, okay, so, so check it out. So here's the uh, the 5 8 phrase Bill plays on, on the first of the Soul Cowboy solos. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> practice this kind of, of uh, metric modulations and, and over the bar line uh, phrases. Uh, it's very important to, to practice it with the metronome uh, with accented ones. One, two, one, two, etc. Uh, because you always have to feel where the one is in the bass time signature. And if you don't feel feel it, if you lose it, there's not so much to do. Just smile and, and try to find it again, I think. Um, so it's, uh, these kinds of metric modulations are quite, could be quite dangerous, but absolutely the best way to, to is to practice it uh, with metronomes, with, with accented ones, um, and uh, work on that learn to sing, sing the rhythms and, and that kind of stuff. So, um, let's move on to, to, um, to me playing this Bill Stewart solo in tempo 80, much slower than the, the original, um, with the metronome with the accented one. Uh, I think I'll, I'll have the metronome on, on eight notes actually. One and two and three and four and because the, most of the rhythms in, in this solo are played straight, not swung. Okay, let's do it. So did you feel the one at all times? Great. Okay, uh, let's move on to, to the next step uh, working on this solo. And the next step is to practice it to, um, in a musical context. And this is the most important thing. Um, 
because what we will do uh, is play mu play music and uh, therefore you have to practice this kind of stuff um, with a context where you always feel where you are in the song's form and, and uh, where the chords line up and, and that kind of stuff. So um, now I, I will play this solo along to a, a blues in F because this song Soul Cowboy is is a 12 bar blues. And what you will notice is, is that the phrases and, and the rhythms in the solo will sound quite different um, when you, you actually hear where the, the chords and the harmonies line up with the, the phrases and the metric modulations over the bar line stuff. So that, that's really cool actually and the best way to, to practice this. think we can call it yeah uh, and check out Bill Stewart um, yeah well, by the way um, as you, you probably have noticed I didn't play on a jazz kit today which I usually like to do but sometimes you, you have to have to take what what you get um, but it's my cymbals and my my snare drum and so um, Okay, cool. Um, check out my blog, you have the address, and take care. See you next time.